a 0.01 m sodium hydroxide standard base chemical you know the molarity 0.01 m 0.1 m and you will be given an acid you don't know the molarity so you have to find the molarity of this acid so the objective is to what to find the molarity of the unknown acid do you have to memorize these things okay fine and second objective, you can say that, okay, you want to learn the skills of performing acid-based titration. Fine. Let's start the practical now. What you do is, fill the standard sodium hydroxide chemical into the burer. As usual, what we do, we add a little bit of the solution first. And we don't take this chemical. We open it. We open it and discard the solution to make sure that your burette is clean and then you refill it up to zero mark <coughs> and make sure no air bubbles here there's already no air bubbles is nice and just bring it down and see where is the zero can you see the zero is here can you see zero is here so that you bring it down to that place okay once it is done you fill the nao chemical now we go to the unknown chemical unknown chemical is what acid so what we do we take the pipette here provided to us it is 20 milliliter pipette so we take our clean flask here and fill it with the pipette filler. Just fix it. Take the acid. We take a little bit of the acid solution normally. And then what we have to do? We have to rinse it, is it? And then throw that solution. Don't take it. Go back and pipette inside the solution unknown acid how much up to 20 milliliter mark so you can see the volumetric flour the pipette the mark is here in this place so this is 20 milliliter up to this point so you keep your conical flask nearby and make sure that and add that one here you are transferring 20 milliliter unknown acid into the conical flask now At the end, you have to touch this one to receive the, any left chemical. And uh, you can see the touch chemical, it's there. So what you do, take a little water and you can push it down. It will not affect. Bring it here, ready for titration. Now you have to put indicator three drops. Did we do indicator for that practical? No, no because it has self-indicator. But here we don't have indicator. So we must add indicator. We are adding phenolphthalein indicator three drops to the acid and it does not give any color, is it? Mm -hmm. So that means the phenolphthalein indicator has no color in the acid. Okay, let's start the titration. I have the acid with the indicator <coughs> in the flask and in the burette I have what sodium hydroxide, base chemical. Just start the titration as usual. So hold it nicely, mix it and open. You see, as I add, there's a pink color is coming, is it? Stop and mix it. Disappearing. So it's disappearing. So what does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, there is uh, still acid, huh? Eh? Still there is acid. So you did not reach the end point still. Okay, now what happened? So color remains. That means an extra drop of NaOH change the color of indicator to the pink. So you have reached the end point. Now what you have to do? You have to go and take the reading. The burat reading. Where do we start? We started from zero. Now we have ended up to the reading seven and it is 7.5, 7.6. Around 7.6. Hey, now what I will do is, I have done my first titration. Then I will go back again. Take the acid 20 milliliter. 
from where the sample bottle and put the acid 20 milliliter here and then you put three drops indicator here and then again start the titration where do we start now from the end point, the end point here 7.6 yeah. we know 7.6 it will go to around 14 is it so we go fast up to 13 no problem then from 13 drop by drop and we get the color change we stop and then we take the reading and then when we finish keep it there then you will bring another flask here is it and then you will do another 20 milliliter you take another 20 milliliter inside and again drop indicator three drops again start the titration from that place and go down when you get the color change stop same last uh, yes and you have done it so how many titration you have done three three then we go for calculation okay <laughs>